so hey everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about the what is quorum and how the quorum is behaving okay so before starting the session i would request to each and everyone whoever newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share please visit the channel playlist sql server dbi you can get multiple videos which can help you to day to day activity and i have covered lot of interview questions also as well okay so let me start so what is quorum basically so quorum checks for the minimum number of votes required to have a majority and own the resource okay we'll understand the cluster things the high level setup communication what is the cluster if you come and see here the cluster nodes in the windows failover cluster tries to begin a communication with all the nodes in the cluster group so basically in a cluster setup all the nodes always talking to each other okay second point once the communication is set up between the available nodes they will talk to each other achieving a majority as i said once the communication is established cluster node always talking to each other okay if the the voting majority is established the cluster resource becomes online the fourth in the case of no majority the cluster service are set to offline status for a temporary basis and nodes wait for the nodes to come online so that the majority can be established so if you know the majority is less then the cluster service will be go offline for a temporary basis and always the nodes will try to bring up to the own resource okay so this is the basics high level setup of clusters but today we will understand the functionality of quorum okay how quorum is playing the classical role in a cluster setup so we'll see here the quorum mode for windows failover cluster so basically quorum is working on a formula that n by 2 plus 1 where n is the number of nodes we'll understand this based on this diagram so here we have a four node cluster setup okay node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 all are talking to each other this is the cluster setup with four nodes okay <coughs> so as per the formula what is the minimum uh, node majority n by 2 plus 1 so it will be 3 okay so always three votes should be there to bring the cluster online now take a scenario if you come and see take a scenario here node 1 okay and node 2 cannot communicate between node 3 and node 4 okay what is scenario node 1 and node 2 cannot communicate between node 3 and node 4 okay node 1 and node 2 can be communicate with each others similarly node 3 and node 4 cannot communicate between node 1 and node 2 and node 3 and node 4 can communicate with each other so basically node 1 and node 2 cannot communicate node 1 and node 2 cannot communicate 3 and 4 and similarly 3 cannot communicate 2 and 4 cannot communicate 1 in this scenario the majority of vote is not matching it's not matching to 3 okay because here we have one vote only here we have one vote and you make sure each cluster node having a capacity of one vote only okay so let's say node 1 having one vote node 2 having one vote node 3 having one vote node 4 having one vote node 3 and node 4 can communicate between but having the majority only two because they are not communicating between any other cluster uh, cluster node but node 1 and node 2 can communicate but here also having the majority only two so in that case cluster service will go offline in this setup okay so now what it will do so in this scenario node 1 and node 2 try to bring the online the resource that is owned by the node 3 and node 4 similarly node 3 and node 4 tries to bring the resource online that are owned by the node 1 and node 2 so they will try to bring the online vice versa okay then only it will be possible to bring the cluster service online now we'll see 
uh, in 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 the three node cluster okay let's say we have three node cluster and one node is not able to communicate so in in three node cluster node 1 node 2 node 3 but node 1 and node 3 cannot communicate but still we have the majority to bring the cluster online so minimum majority is 2 and that's required and that is fulfill here but still we can you know uh, our cluster is online okay so that's the reason the recommended cluster uh, method is try to set up always the odd number of cluster nodes so let's say 3 5 7 okay so this is the recommendation to try to set up odd number of cluster node okay now we'll see the classical role of you know the quorum disk what is the uh, help here to set up a quorum disk okay in this scenario we will have a four node cluster node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 along with quorum disk so if you come and see this line what is saying in this quorum configuration node each cluster node gets one vote as i told you each cluster node having capacity of one vote so node one having one vote two three four have each having one vote and additionally one vote comes from the cluster disk which is called quorum disk okay each node having one vote and additionally one vote from the quorum disk okay what is this quorum disk this disk can be a smaller size high available disk and should be part of the your cluster group it should be a cluster with node suitable with a cluster with even nodes okay this is the recommendation so now take a scenario the same scenario with the four node cluster node 1 and node 2 is going down in that case still our cluster services is on because we are achieving the majority 3 because node 3 will give the one vote node 4 and we are getting one vote from cluster disk a quorum disk so still we are achieving the goal so in the in that way our cluster services still online okay even the two nodes going down here we don't have the cluster disk quorum disk so in that case if the node will go goes down we are not achieving this cluster services bring online because of we have we don't have quorum disk setup okay so if you have the quorum disk we will achieve the goal to bring the cluster services online okay now the similar thing the file share witness node and the file majority is similar to the previous node disk majority quorum mode in this case we replace the quorum disk with a file share witness fsw fsw also cast a single vote similar to the quorum disk normally with this file share witness we are using in always on setup sql server we have seen if you have a two node cluster uh, always on setup definitely you should configure the file share witness otherwise the cluster service will not bring online okay so node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 we have the file share witness here if the file share witness goes down in that case take a scenario if the file share witness is not available still cluster is up because still we are achieving three votes from here right the majority of vote is 3 so still cluster services is bring online if you have the in in the four node cluster if two node will go down node 1 node 2 still we are achieving the goal because the file share witness also can give a one vote to bring this cluster service online if file share witness will go down still we are achieving this goal okay so this is the uh, you know uh, fundamental uh, for the core uh, quorum actually uh, how the quorum is behaving and what is the benefit actually how the vote count is uh, happening actually inside the cluster setup so you go with the one by one uh, then you you will have the better understanding uh, i don't want to keep large video because you will con confuse so just focus this three examples you will uh, have a better an understanding to understand the quorum actually okay so let's it that's it for today i will meet soon in a new video thank you guys